Hey everyone, um, welcome back. I wanted to give you the update uh, to the, um, the the bot that was running uh, yesterday during Hamlet Live. Uh, so it's been about uh, almost 24 hours, um, and uh, you know here is a bot that we started. Uh, one note is that uh, I realized after I made the video that I was actually running the strategy wrong uh, because um, I think during the video I said uh, I thought I was configuring kind of like the bid and ask spread. In fact, it was actually the minimum and maximum spread. Uh, so the strategy, what it does is it basically, um, it normally kind of sets the average uh, between the max spread and min spread. So in this case, it'd be like about 0.5%, uh, average of 0 0.1 and 1. Uh, but then it, it uses like the, the rune oscillator indicator that this user uh, created in order to kind of like push the spread up, you know, toward the max spread or down toward the min spread uh, when it believes kind of like the, the mark is trending in that direction. So, um, so for instance, right now, uh, like kind of got a status. Um, yeah, right now, because it, it believes the market's pretty volatile, it's kind of pushed out both the ask and the bridge spreads um, like this. Um, so, so about the strategy, uh, one thing that you note is that the, uh, this is making a market in the Doge USDT pair, uh, which is one of the most, most volatile ones uh, in the world. Um, and this market uh, has actually gone up about 10% in uh, the last last uh, kind of day or so. Um, and, and, and I would say overall, um, you know, this is, this is good for anyone holding uh, Doge, obviously. Um, but as a market maker, this can actually be bad for you. And so our p and uh, you know, reflects kind of, you know, kind of like, you know, uh, basically the change in price. Because with a move like this, what happens is, um, you know, as prices go up, you naturally start to sell more and more Doge. Um, and so it, unless your strategy is kind of, you know, uh, kind of taking that into account or unless you have an indicator like this that tries to kind of like, you know, um, tries to kind of take that trend into account and widen your spreads on one side of the market, uh, you might end up just buying some buying a lot uh, of Doge. So uh, w one thing what was interesting is actually I think this strategy worked, it has done a pretty good job of managing this because when I look at the, uh, the overall performance since yesterday, um, it's done 171 buys, uh, 239 sells. And now it looks like the piano is negative, right? Um, but, and that's kind of actually pretty natural because we started with uh, almost 90% Doge in the portfolio, and now we're sitting at 71%. Uh, and so in a market where the, um, the, 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 the base asset has gone up 10% in price, you're naturally gonna see kind of like a, 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 a net market value loss. However, honestly, I'm very happy with what this bot has done. And let me tell you why. Uh, when I look at the average buy price versus the average sell price, there's actually a fairly big gap here. Um, what it means is I've been consistently been buying at a lower price than what I've been selling at. That is a great sign for a smart marketing strategy. So yes, I am down in p &L terms, but th that's mainly because Doge has just, you know, it's been in this massive pump over the past Few hours just in price, but but you know what? Um, I just overall I'm happy I'm selling Doge because um, you know if the price comes back down again, which it certainly might, um, then the fact that I, I've kind of like sold a bunch of Doge north of north of uh, kind of like you know like thirty cents could actually be a great thing. So I'm gonna let this strategy run because uh, I think there's a good possibility that uh, kind of as if the Doge price does come down, um, that I'll be I'll you know this market making bot would have turned a profit. Um, and, and it looks like the bot's actually doing a pretty decent job of kind of like, you know, kind of like at least pushing out the spreads in more volatile conditions like, like right now in order so that I'm not buying uh, too much Joe. I'm not selling too, too much Joe. See, see right now, my buy spread is 0.24, my sell spread is 0.71, which basically indicates that, you know, that, that it's, it's, it'd be easier for me to buy than to sell right now. Um, so yeah, so that's an update on the strategy. But overall, um, and, and one again, once again, this strategy is free available on our uh, GitHub by a pull request. Um, we'll probably kind of like merge it in and make it a, an official community strategy soon. Uh, but this is kind of an example of kind of the innovation that uh, we're starting to see from the community. Uh, it's something we're starting to encourage with bounties and hackathons and, and uh, all this uh, other great stuff. So there's a lot to look forward to. I'm super excited. And thank you for sitting at another edition of Hunt Live.